Okay, in this question on partial fractions, we are given a quotient where the top has order 3 and the bottom has order 2. So therefore we have an AX plus B term, a linear term, plus C over the first factor. Um, the f this factorises as follows, so C over X plus D over X minus 3. And then we're asked to integrate the following, obviously using part A. So let's have a go at this then. Okay, so here we go for the first part. Let's uh, write down that 2x cubed subtract 5x squared plus 6 all over, this would be x, x subtract 3, is going to be identical to ax plus b. Now it's important here to put brackets around this. Brackets go around that. Plus c over x plus d over x subtract 3. Now let's multiply everything together so the right hand side has denominator x, x minus 3. Then our next line will be 2x cubed subtract 5x squared plus 6 is the same thing as ax plus b, well that needs multiplied by x and x subtract 3, plus c multiplied by x subtract 3 plus d multiplied by x. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let x equals 0. That would mean this term and this and this term would disappear. So we would get ourselves 6 is equal to gone, gone and negative 3c, which implies that c is negative 2. Then we would let x be equal to 3, positive 3. And substituting in 3 in here, well what would we get? We get ourselves 15 is identical to this is gone, this is gone, and we would get 3d, which tells us that d must be equal to 5. Okay, now we've got an a and a b to find. Well, to get a is, is an easy trick here. The only way to get 2x cubed, the only way to get an x cubed term from the left hand side is the 2x cubed. From the right hand side, the only way we get an x cubed, we wouldn't get any x cubes from here, we would when we multiplied ax by x by x. So this tells us that uh, 2x cubed must be equal to ax cubed, and so the only number a can be is equal to 2. Okay, so we have the same number of x cubes on both sides. Okay, lastly, we've got to do a bit of work to get ourselves. Um, the b term. So let's let x equal 1, let's say. So if we put 1 in, um, let's, uh, if we put 1 in there, we would get 2 subtract 5, which is negative 3, plus 6, which is 3. That would be equal to, if we put 1 in here, we would get a plus b. 1 multiplied by negative 2, so 1 and negative 2. Here we would get plus um, c multiplied by negative 2 plus d. Now, we know, let's be, see what we know. We know what c is. Okay, we know what d is. Okay, and we know what a is. So we can substitute those in, being careful. So 3 would be the same thing as 2 plus b. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, so multiplied by negative 2. C is negative 2 already, times negative 2 would be plus 4, and D is plus 5. Being very careful here with our algebra, multiplying by negative 2, we get negative 4, subtract 2B plus 9. And we can solve this, negative 4 and 9 is 5, and subtracting 5 off both sides, we get negative 2 is equal to negative 2B, so therefore B is equal to 1. So, writing our answer then, we have therefore got our answer here, 2, uh, 2x cubed minus 5, 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6, all over x, x subtract 3, is therefore going to be equal to a, which is 2x plus 1 plus b, and we're then going to have, 
plus c over x, so we're going to have uh, plus c over x, so it's going to be negative 2 over x, and then we're going to have plus d over x subtract 3. And we've done. So that's the first part done there for 5 marks. Okay, the next part, we are going to integrate the following. So using part A, we're going to integrate between 1 and 2 that. So we're obviously going to integrate using uh, this expression here. So let me just copy this over. I'm going to integrate this. So I'm going to integrate this here with respect to x. Okay, let's integrate this part here. Add uh, 2x, add 1 to the power and divide, we're going to get x squared. Add 1 to the power and divide, we're going to get plus x. Here is the top of the differential of the bottom. Well, if it was, it should be 1. So it's uh, subtract 2 ln mod x. And this one here is going to be plus 5 ln x. Subtract 3 between 1 and 2. Now let's put 1 in here. Uh, that would be 2 squared, so it would be 4 plus 2. Okay, subtract 2 ln 2 plus 5 ln uh, negative 1 modulus, which is 1. And then subtract, when you put 1 in, it would be 1 plus 1 minus 2 ln 1 plus 5 ln of negative 2, which is modulus to 2. Okay, now let's just realize that ln 1s disappear, so those ln 1s are gone. And what have we got? We've therefore got 6 subtract 2 ln 2 and then in this bracket we've got 2 here so subtract 2 and subtract 5 ln 2. 6 subtract 2 is 4 and negative 2 ln 2 uh, subtract 5 ln 2 is negative 7 ln 2. So therefore our p is equal to 4, our q is equal to negative 7 and we have it in the right form so we're done.